You can always turn here for quality products that enhance the quality of your life. Quantum Television. Choose wisely. Live well. What would it take to create the perfect kitchen? If you're like most people, you'd start with a blender, a mixer, a food processor, and an ice crusher. If you had money to spend, you'd add a bread maker, pasta maker, and coffee grinder. But look at the total cost. And where do you keep all those things? Well, give away all your old appliances, because the ultimate all-purpose kitchen center has finally been developed, presenting the Kitchen Champ by K-Tech. This incredible do-it-all appliance is a top-quality bread dough maker, mixer, blender, food processor, liquefier, ice crusher, frozen dessert maker, grain grinder, coffee mill, and chopper. Plus, this incredible machine can become one of the fastest pasta makers made, and a great meat grinder. 12 knockout appliances, each one among the best in its category. You're going to see how this compact powerhouse blows away typical auto bread makers, outperforms popular food processors, blasts away top of the line blenders, outmaneuvers single and multi-purpose kitchen mixers. Oh. Yet it's gentle and precise enough to whisk two egg whites into volumes of meringue. Get ready to welcome the best addition you'll ever make to your kitchen, the Kitchen Champ by K-Tech. Hi, I'm Joe Fowler. Welcome to our kitchen. Today you're in for an incredible treat because you're gonna see a new kitchen marvel that promises to be the very last appliance you're ever gonna to need to buy. Take a look at the Kitchen Champ. 12 functions, power to spare, can save you time, certainly it'll save you space, and definitely it'll save you money. Was this sound too good to be true? Come on. No, I'm going to show you why the Champ is going to be the best addition you'll ever make to your kitchen. Now, to do that, we're going to start off with one of the most difficult things to make in the home. Perfect bread dough. Kneaded, ready for the oven in just minutes, and ready to serve to you in under an hour. We're going to take our kneading arm, and we're going to take our dough hooks, and then we are going to add almost three cups of warm, lukewarm water, and it's lukewarm to work with the yeast to help the dough rise, one third of a cup of oil, a third of a cup of honey. I prefer honey over refined sugar in my bread, and that's the beauty of the champ. I get to put all the ingredients that I like. A little salt and two tablespoons of yeast. Now, we measured those ingredients. What about the flour? In this case, we're using whole wheat flour. Do you see me measuring it? I'm just kind of scooping it in. I don't have to measure it. The champ does the work for me. Let's go to the bread brain here and set it on speed number four and hit start. Take a look inside the bowl. I'm gonna continue to put flour in the bowl. You see how the ingredients are clinging to the sides of the bowl? When the bowl cleans itself on the sides and on the bottom, that's when the kitchen champ is ready to be put on auto need and take care of all the work for you. You see how it's cleaned the sides off? Look at that. The champ is telling me yes, so here's what I do. I'm gonna go to the bread brain right here on the panel and hit auto knead. Guess what? I'm done. It's going to knead the bread to perfection. Now come on over here and let's go to this automatic bread maker. Let's do a head-to-head -head test. I love this. We're gonna set it up so that it makes whole wheat bread, which is what we're doing with the champ. And we're gonna hit start. Look at this. The first thing it's telling me is it's gonna take five hours to make one loaf of bread. One loaf in five? You know what we can do with the champ over here? We can make up to 20 loaves of bread in five hours. Take a look at what's happening here. You can see that the bowl is flexible. It's working with the dough. That's part of the technology of the champ. Now look at what else is going on here. We have the muscle of these dough hooks. This is surgical stainless steel. You wanna see the hook that's inside that automatic bread maker? Aluminum? It's more like a rudder chasing the dough around. No comparison. How tough is the champ? Let me show you graphically how tough the champ is. Look at this. We got solid rocks, okay? What would happen if we put these rocks in a regular blender? First of all, don't even try it, please. Because the answer to the question is the regular blender would burn out. Watch this videotape right now, and look at what happened when we put rocks inside the champ. Again, never do this with your kitchen champ. And how powerful is it? 1,400 watts of power. That's about four times more powerful than any blender, mixer, or food processor that I know of. Are you seeing what it's doing to the rocks? Take a look. What were once solid rocks is now not so solid dust. One other note. The bread that you buy in the store, you can pay a dollar, dollar fifty. 
The bread that is made in the automatic bread maker will cost you up to $2. The bread that we're gonna get out of the Kitchen Champ, less than 25 cents. I'm gonna let the Champ do all the work, and in this case, it's taking over two pounds of dough, and we're gonna make two loaves right now, and you can hear that it stopped on its own. It said, we're done. Well, let's find out how done we are. We're gonna take the dough hooks off, and there's our kneading arm. Again, take all the dough. So, we've saved money, we're saving time. Take a look, this is the part I like. Look inside this, this mixer. Look how clean that is. Cleaned it right out. And we have our dough. We're gonna make two loaves of bread, so we're gonna split it in half, like so. Less than 25 cents per loaf. Five loaves, up to 20 in the amount of time it takes to make one in the automatic bread maker. We preheat our oven to 150 degrees, and in goes the dough, and we'll have bread very soon. So while we let our bread rise, let's turn our bread maker into a blender. With the champ, it's easy to do. Out comes the mixer and the drive shaft. We're gonna put the safety cap over here and add the blender, just like that. One base, one appliance. Here we go, I've got some fresh fruit and vegetables, and we are gonna make more than just a juice, we're gonna make a complete juice. Now, as far as our juice is concerned, we use the pulp, the pith, the seeds, you name it. Lemon, orange, we're gonna add some strawberries. You bet I'm gonna put cantaloupe in it. And pineapple, one of my favorites. Let's cut the pineapple up. Here's a great way to add your vegetables. Carrots, kids don't like carrots on the side? Put them in the juice, complete juice, health cooler. Here comes the ice, we're gonna set our champ at speed number nine, and push start, and away it goes. And I'm gonna add a banana for our potassium. So what do we have here? We have vitamins A, C, B6, we've got beta carotenes, you name it, fruits and vegetables in a complete health cooler. But the question is, will this drink be drinkable? Good question. In a regular blender, forget it. I wouldn't touch it. It would be gritty. It would be pulpy. But in the Champ, it's going to be creamy. It's going to be smooth. But the proof is right now. It stopped for us, and we are going to pour ourselves a health cooler. Oh, will you look at that? Is that beautiful and creamy? Mmm. Easy to make. Good for you. Tastes fantastic. And if you've ever gone to a food court in a mall, two to three dollars for this. Less than 50 cents. Mm. Fantastic. Let's go back to the mixer. We're gonna do something amazing. How versatile is the champ? Same bowl that can handle up to what? Almost 12 pounds of bread dough is now going to show us how two little egg whites can be whipped into enough meringue to cover an entire pie. That's right, two egg whites. And we're gonna start by putting our two egg whites into the bowl. Just like that, hit start and away we go. What's the secret to this? The power of the champ, for one thing, and the whisk action that's taking place. Let me show you something. Anybody who cooks for French whisks are the standard of excellence by which all whisks are measured. Well, the whisks after French whisks. And here you have them and they're easy to pop on. In fact, they just snap on like that. No screwing them on, no special tools. They snap on and if you'll notice, Gear to gear action, that's important because it gives you double the speed and they're very durable. Look at this cutaway and it gives you a good idea, the precise design of the whisks and the ball. Working in conjunction with the shape of the champ's ball, it forms a precision fit, whipping more volume into our meringue. I'm gonna stop it now. And we're gonna pull this out and take a look at the meringue. Let's pull it out and see how much we have. Remember, normal's about a cup, cup and a half. Oh, wow. Is this great or what? Our measuring cup is overflowing with meringue. Can you believe this? But what matters most is what it'll do on a pie. And look what it does. So now we know that the champ can handle the delicate job of whipping meringue, which shows us what a great high-speed mixer it is. We've seen the champ liquefy fruits and vegetables, right? Make a complete juice. It's a liquefier blender. And we know that the champ is a world-class bread dough maker. But we're missing one very important function. What can the champ do when it comes to food processing? Let's find out. Off with the mixer. Well, let's turn this into a food processor. Notice that the champ has feet. We're gonna use those feet right now. We're gonna turn it over like so. 
and we're going to add our food processor. Snaps on very easily and start it up. The first thing you might notice is the fact that other food processors have their own built-in bowl. You're limited as to how much you can put in that bowl. Well, I'm using my own salad bowl. I also have the ability to pick and choose the kind of salad that I want. Oh, look how paper thin those cucumbers are. Is that great or what? 